morning, IG Learner. It is a pleasure to be here with you today. As you might know, the Leadership Innovation Subcommittee of the Professional Development Committee has an overall goal to innovate, distinguish, and elevate our workforce. To that end, we one of our new initiatives is a spotlight series on leaders in the community. With your upcoming retirement in three days to be exact, we are honored that you are taking time with us to chat about your career journey, reflections, and leadership lessons. To kick things off, I must congratulate you on your 31 years of public service. You have stated that public service is your why for why you wanted to become an Inspector General. Would you share a little bit about your leadership positions that you have held and how those positions have led you to become the Inspector General for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation for six years now? Well, thank you, Kit, and thank you to the Professional Development Committee for offering me this opportunity to present this morning. And I, as you said, I've been uh, working for the federal government for 31 years, and I'm proud to have dedicated my career to public service. Of those 31 years, uh, 12 years in the IG community, uh, 13 years in the criminal division at the Department of Justice as a prosecutor, uh, I last held the position of assistant chief in the fraud section during the course of the last financial crisis, and I worked on the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission, and six years at the Department of Homeland Security and the Transportation Security Administration. I started up those agencies. And so in the IG community, I feel fortunate to have benefited from standing on the shoulders of giants. I was honored when Glenn Fine hired me to be in the Inspector General Office at the Department of Justice, and I was honored also when Michael Horwitz uh, selected me to be his Chief of Staff. And so over my career as a prosecutor, I felt very comfortable and familiar with law enforcement and the investigations components within an IG's office. I've also been trained as an accountant and uh, passed the CPA exam, so I was comfortable with accounting principles and then 20 years of government service before the IG community, I um, learned about leadership and government processes. And I'm so grateful for all of those experiences that helped me to become an Inspector General. Thank you for sharing your journey. You've had a very impactful and diverse career. I'm sure there are some great stories to be told there. We love to hear about your most memorable IG experiences, relationships, and connections that you have built. Well. It's been an honor to be an Inspector General, and I was so honored and grateful when the President nominated me for this position and the Senate confirmed me on a bipartisan, unanimous basis. Um, Winston Churchill once said that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I believe it's a noble pursuit to work for the federal government on behalf of the American people and it's a unique opportunity to help repair the world. The very concept of an Inspector General is a unique aspect of American democracy, to review the agency and explore its inner workings and to delve deeply, and then to criticize the agency and make recommendations for improvement. At the FDIC Office of Inspector General, our mission really is to prompt and encourage improvements and efficiencies at the agency and to help preserve the integrity of the banking sector. And I believe that we are really making a huge difference by contributing to those things based on our work. Um, in the IG community, I'm so grateful uh, for the advice and counsel and guidance and friendship of the other inspectors general in the community and it has allowed me to build a network. One particular experience that I'm so proud of is when Sandra Bruce, the Inspector General at the Department of Education, asked me to be her Vice Chair for the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Accessibility Working Group. And back when it started in August of 2020, I don't think either of us knew where it would be heading or where it would lead to. But based on the hard work, the energy, the enthusiasm, and spirit of the IG community, it has really far exceeded anyone's expectations. One of our goals was to make sure that it sustained the effort over time and that it wasn't just a short-term flavor of the month. And I'm so proud that the IG community has now declared it as a permanent committee in the IG community on behalf of the community. 
I'm proud to have been part of that effort, and I'm proud to be an ally with Sandra on the DEIA initiative. Well, we certainly thank you for all the guidance and advice that you have provided to the IG community over the years. In addition to your leadership roles, we have appreciated your words of wisdom and approach on professional development. Specifically, we were moved by your words of inspiration during your chat with IG Bruce at the 2020 Figgy Leadership Forum in the height of the pandemic. With the theme on journeying to the next normal, we were especially drawn to your philosophy, focus on the journey and not the destination. Would you care to elaborate on that philosophy and, its and your approach to professional development? Sure, uh, thank you. Um, I think as one develops a, their career, it's important to have a general direction of where you would like to go. But it's also important to have flexibility along the way and to be able to take advantage of opportunities as they might arise. It's important, and I found that in every job that I've held, there's always rewarding nuggets of wisdom or knowledge or information that you can gain from that experience. And it's important to focus on learning and growing from those various experiences and being resilient when there might be setbacks along your career. So it really is about the journey, not about the destination. And I strongly believe that's good advice for anyone developing their career. Well, thank you for that. And what I'm hearing too, and what we're really, what I'm seeing in the community that we're really focusing on too is just um, leading where you are, finding mentors to really help um, shape and flesh out some of your career goals and to identify different paths that are possible to get you to your end goal. So I appreciate you sharing that too. Um, with your leadership roles in SIGI, such as being the vice chair of the legislative committee and also the vice chair of the diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility work group, and also as a member of the PRAC, what emerging professional development needs are you seeing? Well, there are always technical skills to improve and it's important to uh, get better in those areas, but I'd really like to focus on leadership development and I think that's where the IG community could really benefit from. Um, in my view, leadership is about taking people where they have not been or maybe it didn't even think about going. And so when I became an inspector general, I had three intentions. First, to develop a strong and sturdy foundation for the office based on mission, meaning, and purpose. Second is building pillars emerging from that foundation based on values, goals, and principles. And third is developing a direction, a vision for the office. I sort of liken it to a tree where there are roots that form the foundation, a trunk that emerges from there, and then branches and leaves that form the direction for the tree or for the office. And they can sway in the wind and be resilient when the storms or external forces come. And so I also think that's uh, appropriate for leadership as well, where there are three elements to make sure that you develop yourself, you work with others, and you build relationships with those others. With respect to self, it's important to know yourself and your own me mission, meaning, and purpose. And then uh, working with others and making sure that they have the right mindset, a growth mindset to always get better. And to uh, demonstrate grit, guts and gusto, resourcefulness and resilience, initiative and intensity and tenacity and toughness. And then lastly is to build relationships. And I use another acronym, which is reaching out to others. Be sure to reach out to others with respect, empathy, appreciation, curiosity, and humility. So it's important to develop all three of those areas as a leader. Well, thank you for sharing those wisdoms with us again. Um, and I appreciate the visualization of the tree. I think that's it's, it's simple, but it's so powerful. Uh, with your few days left in public service and reflecting on your journey, what would you tell your younger self and any lessons learned well, there are a few things that I would tell myself. I think first is to work hard. There really are no shortcuts to success and it's important to work hard. Second is stick to your principles and values with integrity, character, and honor. And be the best version of yourself to model the behavior for others and to learn from your mistakes or stumbles along the way and to be resilient. 
I also think it's important to be a lifelong learner. And now I have to interject my own obligatory joke that I'm, my last name is Learner, so I I'm stuck with it for life. But it's also important to always look to get better and improve and to be a lifelong learner. There are lots of resources out there. And then importantly, make others better around you. Make sure that you are working to improve others that are, and help them along the way in their journey as well. Well, thank you for that. And I feel like you're, you definitely do um, speak the truth because, you know, thank you for your dedication and your advice and guidance to the community over the years. And, you know, appreciate you taking some time with us during your last week of service. Uh, you have reached an exciting chapter. Public service was your why for wanting to be an inspector general. Can you share what you're looking forward to the most during your retirement and what you see as being your new why? Well, I have a long list of things I'd like to do. I'm not sure what will bubble to the top, but I think that I'm looking forward to new challenges to explore and learn and grow. I think that there'll be travel involved. That's something I've always enjoyed, and it's another opportunity to adventure and explore and learn and grow. And also, I think I will continue to serve others. Public service continues to be my why, and I, I want to continue to pursue that. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing your insights, and we definitely appreciate your dedication. Your presence will be missed in the community. Well, it's been an honor to be an Inspector General, and I've really enjoyed working in the IG community with all these hardworking professionals looking to make the government better on behalf of the American people. And so my heart is filled with pride, honor, humility, and gratitude. And I thank you for all your support along the way. I wish you all the best, and I encourage you to always keep thinking about getting better. Thank you so much. Thank you, IG Learner.